Episode 12, end of pre-production. And so we have come to the end of the development stage of this little project, and ever so touching base on the start of production, which is very much the meat of the sausage making process of a film. Like I said in the last episode, I will be capping this journey so far of this Instagram series as season one, subtitling it as pre-production, with this episode being the finale, just putting it out there. And sometime in the future, the series will continue where it left off with a second season with new life under a different platform, that being YouTube instead of Instagram. The episodes of season two will be monthly updates of the progress I've made so far on the project. I'm not too sure when, but hopefully sometime in late 2024, I hope. So now that I'm bringing this chapter of this series to a close, I'd just like to use this episode to share with you all what my next steps are beyond this point, and then tying it up with a few new announcements I would like to make on here. So as I had stated before, the second season of my series will continue on my YouTube channel, but I will also be using this YouTube channel platform making other kinds of content and creative outlets offshooting from the progress of my projects alongside that, which is I want to create videos delving into other things such as making of videos of previous short films I had made, or even shot by shot breakdown videos with myself explaining my mindset behind the creative decisions I made, compositions, editing choices, and every other components that goes into making a film. Some examples of some ideas I've been spitballing of what those videos could be, I was thinking of making a shot by shot breakdown video of one of my past shorts, Burger Royale, and a making of video of my recent short, Demo N, as well as my first time getting a taste of success I earned with my short films through their run in the festival circuits, and what they led to, and sprinkling some simple videos for sheer entertainment. You know, have a little fun, why not? I would also like to use this channel as a creative outlet to talk about the movie business based on my personal experiences with discussions I've had with producers, third party execs, pitching ideas for movies, learning how the game of the industry works, or sharing personal experiences through my filmmaking journey that would be valuable to other aspiring filmmakers out there like myself who are on a similar trajectory, or just trying to make it into the industry. Or if you're just someone who is curious, then come along. The channel is open to all who are interested. I would also like to make analysis videos of movies that I've seen that have either inspired me or movies I've seen in the past or seen recently that I like to talk about as a bonus. Uh, hopefully that should make for some interesting content with enough range that would reach out to a broader audience. And I've got a ton of stuff archived that I want to share regarding the grocery list of what I want to talk about, and a lot of stuff to say that I would like to use to express that on my channel. Now. I have a couple of announcements I would like to share. So just going back to talking about my two new short films, that being Demo N and What the Hell Was That, which has been getting some early buzz in the festival circuit and on my social media platforms, has earned me some new connections with people working in the industry. I've been getting quite a bit of noise on my Twitter page throughout the past week, uh, a social media account that I've just recently made. I've had a handful of festival directors from the other side of the pond, like LA, Chicago, New York, Canada, and even across Europe who have caught wind of my work and reached out to me to start a conversation and wanted to have my work submitted and represented at their venues. Both my shorts recently just got an official selection at the Shockfest Film Festival and will be shown at this year's virtual event live in New York called Theatre of Mystery, which I will go into more context on in a separate video. I've also been getting follows from other independent filmmakers and screenwriters and even some YouTubers who create content like what I'm currently doing and will aim to do more of in the future. But what I really want to share with you out of the connections I've made was I received an email about two weeks ago from a producer and an actress. Her name is Britt McRae, who has worked on such streaming shows as NBC and Peacock's Departure, Netflix's Neon Lights, and Amazon Prime's Hudson and Rex, which if you haven't seen these shows, I highly recommend them, who had come across my short Demo N on my IMDB page, and she reached out to me asking me to submit it into the Kino Short Film Fest in LA for a chance for it to win cash prizes and to be adapted into a full-length feature, which, upon reading the email, was just so... 
surreal to me. I was literally jumping with joy with the fact that this little shorts that I've made all by myself without a budget, with nothing but utilizing the tools I had access to, not only did it get interest from festivals, but also a producer who saw this on an IMDb page go out of her own way to email me, believing that this short has potential to be a worthy contender at this particular venue and championing it as something she believes has commercial value as a feature adaptation. Now, this is where I need you, the viewers, your help. So Kino offers the public a chance to vote for any of the shorts listed in this upcoming venue, and then whoever's short gets the most votes will win a grand prize, which also gives that short film that may or may not have won anything under the category selected by the panelists to earn the People's Choice Award for Best Short to boost the interest from either studio execs or producers who will be attending the events, as another avenue for filmmakers in getting their short adapted into a feature. The opening date for when the venue is open for the public to vote will start on the 16th of December. So throughout the next month, I will be promoting Demo N by uploading posts on all my social media platforms and building a community around supporting the shorts and getting as much of your votes as possible for a chance to take it to the next level, along with your help by sharing it amongst your peers, friends, or your family to help spread the word in which I will be incredibly thankful for your part in making my lifelong dream as a director a reality. The power is literally in your hands, and in return I will promise you a fun, thrilling experience of a horror film that I can be proud to call my directorial debut, made on a low budget and handled with the love and care of a cast and crew behind it. You can go to this link I've attached to this video and hit share now and be sure to hit vote for Demo N on the 16th of December. I of course will be reposting near enough the date when it opens as a friendly reminder. More will be elaborated on this on a separate video on my YouTube channel. One last announcement I would like to make before I wrap up here is I'm going to self-publish my first novel. This one has been a long time coming. About seven years ago, I wrote a full manuscript for a novel called Malcolm Dare Legacy. It's an adventure story which follows a journalist student, Kayla Walker, who had taken on an assignment from her university that would help boost her chances in getting a career as a professional journalist, only to find that this assignment turned out to be more than what she had hoped for, or worse, much worse. Her assignment was to get a story on a young fortune seeker, Malcolm Dare, who had believed to have discovered an historical find at the shores of North Carolina uncovering a stone with a message that dates back in the 16th century, engraved by his ancestor Eleanor White Dare, the mother of Virginia Dare, and daughter to famous colonist and artist Governor John White. This find also contained a map to a lost island, Croatone Island. Mal and his mentor, Leonard Jameson, believe that this find proves it will lead them to unraveling the truth behind the Dare's elusive disappearance after the massacre of Governor White's lost colony, along with the suspicion that the island holds something of great value. Perhaps treasure, maybe. The trio sail across the Indian Ocean where they wind up shipwrecks on their way to Croaton and are confronted by a few rivals, along with a squadron of Spanish mercenaries and Portuguese hunters by their sides, who are looking for the same thing they are and will try to kill them by any means necessary in getting to unlocking the truth of White's legacy before them. This nefarious adventure leads Mal, Lenny, and Kayla in a race against time in finding this supposed treasure with the hope of escaping the island alive. Who will triumph? Who will claim victory? Will Mal and his friends leave this strange island with fortune, or will they wind up meeting their early graves alongside the expediters who once walked among this forgotten land? So that's the synopsis, giving you a little taste of what you'll be in for. I'm currently in the middle of doing a final proofread, following some notes given to me by a fellow filmmaker and buddy of mine, Richard Charlton, who made the time to read through the entirety of my manuscripts and sent me a 17 page document filled with detailed notes given constructive criticism and feedback on what he likes, what he thinks needs to be reworked or could be better, all broken down into paragraphs going through each chapter, which is something I am eternally grateful for, finally connecting with someone who is just as much as an avid reader as I am, to read through what I have and just hearing how my story is conveyed with a fresh pair of eyes. This is something I remember being excited about writing back when I was like 
22. The amount of research I went into the historical aspects of this story, merging fact with fiction, and creating these characters and going on this journey with them as I've been writing it, and now revisiting it seven years later and polishing what I have, I really think that I have something here that I'm just dying to put out for the world to see. It'll be published as a non-physical PDF that will be up on Amazon for you to buy for about £9.99 uh, to read on Kindle, which I think is a fair price for a novel written by a first time author. And if it does well and some income starts rolling in, I will invest in getting some physical copies made and push for promotion and getting some bookstores to put it up on display. Fingers crossed. And that brings us to a bittersweet end to this episode and the first season of the series. Um, I'd like to thank all who have been tuning into this series. I had a lot of fun making these videos and sharing you my progress on my project so far and sharing with you what I'm passionate about. This is something I want to keep on doing, if I can. The outcome regarding using this platform as a creative outlet so far hasn't quite been what I was hoping for, but it's early days, I'm still experimenting and figuring out how I can get my content to reach out to a wider audience. We'll see what happens when I create future videos on YouTube and see what the outcome of that might be. I'll still be using this Instagram page uh, with updates on how my short films are doing in the festival circuits, maybe share some stills from the Beyond the Hedges shorts, etc. But more of my time and efforts, I think, will be on my YouTube channel. Just throwing shit on the wall and see what sticks. And to any new viewers out there who have been watching and stay to the end of this episode and like what you see, don't forget to follow this page where you can instantly watch the entire first season of my Instagram series. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you wish to be kept updated on new content from me in the future. I'll of course will be making a playlist of this series on my YouTube channel also. Okay, that's it guys, I've got to go. Uh, I hope you all have a good day and until then I'll see you soon. Take care. Hey guys, this is Gary Roche here.